Amanda here from scrimpymama.co.uk I'm just coming to share um, some beautiful happy mail that I've received all handmade goodies from a beautiful crafter called Marlene um, she actually lives in the same town as me and very very lucky that she was able to come and visit my home um, to collect something from me and she uh, brought me this wonderful package of handmade goodies I'm absolutely thrilled it was so lovely to meet Marlene. She's one of my, started off as one of my Stamping Up customers and now she's over on the Shabby Chic um, swap group that I run on Facebook and, and then I got to meet her in, in real life <laughs> which is absolutely lovely and, and all crafters are always welcome. My door is always open and the kettle is always on. So we have said that once I get back from my summer holidays we'll arrange and she can come round and we'll craft together so that would be lovely. So, look at this, this is going on my, this is a handbag charm and she's made all of that, added all the beads one by one, how beautiful is that, um, this was one of the swaps over on the swap group um, and she must have made an extra one, absolutely beautiful, um, yeah, I absolutely love it and then she's made these lovely toppers which I am absolutely in awe of. My lovely friend Kay makes a lot of toppers and it's something I've never really gotten to grips with um, mostly because I don't, I don't allocate myself enough time to be honest. It's not that I don't have time, I do, I just prioritise it wrongly. <laughs> I believe everybody has time for everything, it's what you choose to do with it. And Marlene's made these and they're absolutely beautiful, I love them. I'm very, very pretty. I will use them in my um, swap packages and things like that. Those are stunning. And she put, popped, popped them in these little striped bags, so you know me, I'll be saving those. And then she sent me these little um, images and cards, which will go in um, a journal. So we've got some lovely little... Um, images there, I don't know where she's got these from, they're lovely and she may well have printed them herself, I don't know and then we've got these beautiful cards, again I don't know where she's got these or whether it's paper that she's cut up, they look like they're very similar to Memories and More cards or Project Life cards um, I don't know what paper line it is um, but they're absolutely beautiful so they will look at that one, I love them, absolutely love them um, and then let me just put them in here nice and tidy. <laughs> I have got an amazing project that she's made to show you in a minute, but I'm going to make you wait till last. Then she's sent me these little bows. Whether she's tied them herself, I don't know, but they're amazing. I love them, <laughs> and that will save me a lot of time. I'm not very good at tying bows, so she saved me a heap of a job there. And then she sent me some some lovely beads. We've got some of the little crystal like shambhala type they call them don't they so those are lovely and then in here I've got this lovely which I think is like a bookmark that's ever so pretty I love that really lovely and um, so I'll put that in my planner and then she sent me some this is like jewelry wire I think yeah it's jewelry wire and that's a lovely colour and um, so you can make all sorts of things with them um is it wire or is it yeah, I think I can, you can make bracelets with it and things like that. Um, so yeah, that's very useful. I shall uh, pop that in my little my little stash with the beads and see what I can come up with. Um, I'm just going to fix it on there. And then the pied, pied de resistance <laughs> in my French Yorkshire accent. I'm going to show you and I'm going to have a go. I have made one of these once at a crafty weekend my lovely friend Heidi Smith who is flutter by Heidi did a tutorial on one of these um, you, you see them all over but they really are a labour of love and I am going to make one um, and it's a stationary box so you take the lid off like so and then the, the sides open and it comes down like so um, and then you have in here we've got little notelets and here we've got some larger cards I do not know what paper line she's used but it's beautiful um, all of the little tags um, we've got some little toppers it's just beautifully made she's made the little side pockets there um, and here we've got a little 
um, post-it note holder. It's very beautifully made. She's a very, very talented lady. Um, it's absolutely perfect. There's not a single flaw anywhere. <laughs> so, yeah, very, very clever. Um, so I'm looking forward to when uh, we can get together and she can come around and be able to teach me a thing or two, I, th I reckon. <laughs> Absolutely. So, and then that folds up like so and it wraps around there. And you can see all of that beautiful paper. And it's absolutely perfect. There's not a single thing where you think, oh, I can see she's cut it a bit short there, or that's not quite right. It's absolutely perfect. It's beautiful. So I just thought I'd like to share that with you, um, because I do like to share what other people do. I think it gives us all inspiration, and also, I just remember this lovely flower as well, and also it's a way of me um, extending my gratitude because the time that it takes to make these things especially the time it takes to make these as I say they are a labour of love so I am extremely grateful and she also gave me these as well I've just remembered these lovely bracelets bless her um, so, oh, those are pretty they will be going on my holidays with me so thank you to Marlene for those beautiful, beautiful gifts. I hope you enjoyed them as much as I do. I hope it's given you some inspiration. And I'll see you all very soon. Bye for now.